M0 FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0 FXP, thanks to Yip Loong for the firmware post on Facebook page here. And we've gone to that link and it says changes from 1.26 improved to enable forcing an all reset by connecting an external power source while holding down RITX or TXFC, even if you cannot turn on or off the transceiver by using the power key. First, disconnect any external power supply, battery pack and USB cable and then reconnect one of them. This is what it says. You can revert to the firmware versions if you want. It says it allows it here. Uh, so let's just do it. So we'll go to the bottom and we'll click this and we'll click download. And we'll let that run. In the next part of the video you'll see me taking the SD card out and plugging it into the PC. So back soon. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we have a new firmware update for the ICOM 705. First thing we're going to do is turn our radio off. Like so. Then take out the SD card. So it's off. Let's turn it to the side like so. Let's get some light on here so you can see. So you just fold down the bottom flap like so. Give it a little push. I'll show you that close up. I use tweezers to pull it out once it's unclicked. Um, so it will it will give when you push it once it'll give a little click and then it'll stick out like that. Then I just get tweezers and just slide it out. And it comes out with the gold side facing forward. So once it's out, put it in an adapter. So I never use an adapter, a cheap adapter, should I say. I never use a cheap adapter. So there you go, put it in there. And that's going to go in our, in our laptop now. Let's go to the PC. I will say that you need to have at least used the SD card once to have the files on it you're going to need to change. So the SD card's it, art card is in, you go menu, set, go to SD card, and then what you want to do is save your settings at least once. I'm going to save them to the same file, but it could be a new file if you want, and just click yes. And then all the files will be on the SD card that you need when it goes in the PC. So let's... Uh... Click the link, download the file, click download, then you'll get this file here. And we've plugged in the SD card into the PC, which is here somewhere. Look for, ignore these errors. Let's have a look now. USB drive. There we are, ICOM 705. This is what you should be seeing here, where it says ICOM 705, if you've already saved your settings to that SD card then we'll hit the zip and make sense to extract it somewhere where you're going to find it so anything for ICOM 705 here no I'll put it in the 878 folder click OK otherwise I'm going to copy it no it's not going to let me copy it in that file so we'll go and find the 878 somewhere here desktop 878, there's the file there, we're going to copy it, copy, okay, I'm going to go back to the 52 file, the USB drive that I've got plugged in, I'm making this long winded and I, paste, there's the new firmware and we're just going to drag it up into the 705, like so, and it will just appear there. Right, okay, let's take it out of the of the PC, unplug the SD card adapter, and then put it into our radio. So back at the radio, the SD card's gonna go in this way around, so we're gonna pull the flap down and slide, slide it facing, gold, gold part facing forward into there. Once it's in, just push it so it clicks, but don't force it. Okay, we have the click, now let's turn the radio on. 
like so. Just hit the on button. And it should be quite straightforward from this point. So we just go menu, go to S, go to set on SD card, and then we'll go down to look for firmware update. And if the file isn't in there, we're going to have to go back in. Oh, wrong one. Firmware update. The A H seven hundred five is the actual tuner. Anyway, update. And we're going to follow the instructions, do the downer, go yes. Depending on the version, all the settings and memories may be lost. Make a backup of your SD card first. Um, I've already done that. So, well, let's just do it anyway, just to show you. Push yes, and it'll make sure you've got all your memories backed up. Like so. There's the number, 70, is it 5E127? So that's the right number. Click it. Do you want to start? Click yes. Now I've got a feeling you have to hold your finger on the button to do this. There you go. And then it should do everything for you now. now I was on 1.26. It's not much of a change, but hey, I like to do it anyway. Um, updating main CPU firmware. And at the end of it, we can load back up our memories. There you go. Should say 1.27 here now when it boots. Let's look at, yeah, 1.27. And then to load back your memories, because it does, well, it looks like they're all still there anyway, so I can't see that there's a problem. But if there was, I would just go menu, set, SD card, go to, let's find it, load settings. And then I would select one of the ones I saved. And take it from there. So 7.3, that's you all updated. Till the next time, catch you on air, all the best.